This program is suitable for most people. However, it should not replace a supervised exercise program. Please consult your local doctor before commencing an exercise program, especially if you have one or more of the following. Have had joint surgery, any medical condition affecting your heart, lungs or blood pressure, joint inflammation. You have not been doing regular exercise. Stop exercising immediately if you experience one or more of the following chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, dizziness, numbness or tingling in the arms or legs, severe pain or discomfort in your joints. The producers and distributors disclaim any liability or loss, personal or otherwise, resulting from procedures in this program. Move It or Lose It is an exercise program for seniors designed to maintain an active and healthy lifestyle. Let's join instructor Glennis for a chi ball workout at Casia Gardens in Caroline Springs. We hope you enjoy today's episode. Good morning, welcome to today's episode of Move It or Lose It. My name is Glenny and I will be taking you through a qi ball workout. Uh, this class is based on traditional Chinese medicine. We use an aromatherapy scented qi ball, but it's not necessary that you have a ball. You can just pretend or you can use a tennis ball or anything that's handy. Uh, the class is also done in bare feet as the Chinese believe that the energy is drawn up through your feet. And we need to feel your feet in contact with the earth. So if you can, quickly slip off your shoes and let's begin. Right, we take yourselves into wide Wu Chi stance to begin with. Take the feet nice and wide, get the wrists to line up with the ankles. We're going to place the ball in our right hand. Let's take a deep breath in, inhale and exhale. So I want you to come down in deep squats so we warm up through the legs. But be mindful as we squat, as you go down, please check that your knees are covering your toes. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale, down. I want you to relax through the face and the eyes as we breathe. Focus on the movement deep into these squats to build leg strength, but just to warm them for the journey that we have ahead. Exhale and down. Two more times. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale and down. One more time, either side and relax. One more time, deep stretch. If you do have knee issues, please remember you can leave these out. Push the ball forward and extend the other arm back. Inhale, exhale, press. This movement is called press the wind. Inhale, exhale, press. Really slide the arm backwards at your rib cage. Inhale, exhale, really push forward and pull back. And one more time, excellent. Taking the ball in your right hand, I want you to take a deep breath in and extend the arm over and back. Inhale, exhale, stretching over and back. Now as we're stretching, please again, make sure that your knee is over your toe. Big stretch upward and across. Each time we take it a little bit further. Two more times, stretch up and over and release. One more time. So we really are today going to focus on lots of stretching for mobility and range of movement. Something that sort of diminishes with age. Big stretch up and over, inhale, exhale. Again, that little check to make sure that your knee is over your toe. Transferring the weight from one side to the other. So these are like lunges. Exhale, last one, relax. Taking the ball in your right hand. Our next movement is called circle the sun. So take it forward and around your shoulders. This helps get rid of shoulder tension. Take it around, inhale, exhale as we're taking it around the body and release. Exhaling, just there. Feel that tension 
diminishing as we circle your, the sun. Right, twice more. Exhaling just there. One more time. Awesome, taking that behind, really open the chest, stretch back and take it to the other side. Well done. Again, if you do have knee issues, don't worry too much about the lunges. You can just focus on the upper body. Exhaling and release. All the way around and relax. That's it, good job. Twice more. Last one. Now from here, we're gonna take it in, settle down into the heels, shoulders back, and exhale, press across the body. That's it, well done. Come up, exhale to the other side. Well done. Focus on the stretch, so really keep going until you feel that stretch into the upper back. Relax, and then take it to the other side. Well done. Inhale, exhale. Bring the focus into the ball and onto the breath. Again, you don't need to have a ball, you can do it without the ball. Just taking your wrist through two more times across the body and last one. Okay, taking the ball onto the shoulder, take your elbow forward and around. This is fantastic if you do have a lot of tension in your upper body. So I want you to release that now, just circle. But again, as we're squatting, be mindful of your knees. If you have knee issues, you can focus on just rolling the shoulder around. Two more times. Last one. Taking the elbow across the body, stretching out through the upper back. And release. Again, arcing the shoulder over. Feel that stretch into the upper back. And again, brace the tummy, pull that belly in nice and tight, squeezing the buttocks as we take it across the body. Well done, two more. And last one again, there we go. Please take the ball behind your body, opening through the chest, lift and release. Circle the sun on this side, around the body, and release. That's the way, across and down. Exhaling at this point, again, transferring the weight from one leg to another. Well done. Around the body and down. Two more times. And release. One more, placing the ball onto the shoulder. Circle forward. See if you can make that range of movement bigger. All the way down if you want to build strength in the legs. That's the way. All the way around. Deep squats, the leg strength. Taking your elbow across the body, exhale and across. That's the way. Again, checking the alignment of the knees as we cross. Arcing the elbow up and down across the body. This is fantastic. We're just going to alleviate all the tension through the upper body. Exhale as we press. And across. One more time, that's the way. And release, draw the ball up through the body, exhale and press down. Inhale, drawing up and down, nice and deep. Spread your toes, squeeze the glutes. Last one and press it through, rounding out your back, Open your chest, exhale. Really round out the back. We spend so much time in forward posture and this helps correct and align your posture. Pull the elbows right back, stretch and round under. Also handy if you do have a little bit of lower back pain to stretch the back out here. That's why right. inhale, exhale. 
Okay, last one, and relax. We're going to take a small break now, but please feel free to continue with this exercise, and we'll be back with you soon. Welcome back. We're going to, our second component of the class, we're going to focus a little bit more on yoga and we're going to challenge your legs to be stronger. Building strength will give you a better lifestyle. So let's work on this area now. Come again into wide witchy stance. So again, check the, the ankles and the wrists at the same width. That is the width of your stance. We pop the ball over into the right hand side and this time you're going to turn your left foot and your right. We're going to take the hands to the front of the body, extending back. Now, feel the warmth between the shoulder blades as we squeeze back, lifting the chest, draw the belly in, squeeze through the buttocks and push into this leg. Just a little check, as you look down the leg, you can see your toes on the inside. The shoulders are even, lifted and down. Shoulders above the hips, squeezing through the buttocks, that's it, lifting the chest. This is warrior two. Looking down the hand and extending. Can challenge the legs here. Inhale, exhale, press off the front heel and straighten. Lifting the palm of your hand, again, press into that leg and looking down and extending the ball. This is sun warrior. Inhale, come on up, press off that heel and exhale. We're going to draw the flesh up this leg nice and straight and run the fingertips down as we hitch the hip, looking at the ball above your head. That's the way and running the hand down. Everybody's flexibility is different, so please be patient with yourself here. Okay, if you want a little more, you can come a little further. Inhale, exhale, come on back slowly, nice and slow, that's the way. Awesome. Come back to centre, bring the shoulders back and down, lift and release. One more time, lift and release. Let's take that to the other side. Reposition the heel. Turn the toes outward, placing the ball into your left hand, fingertips, exhale and straighten back. Turn it and look towards, pushing into that front knee. Okay, opening through the chest. To challenge yourself, you can press a little further if you need to, but again, lift the chest. Drawing the belly in nice and tight and making sure your shoulders are above your hips. Well done, the warrior two position. Inhale, exhale, press off your front heel, extend your arm upward, looking at the palm of your hand, press the ball down and press into that front leg. Okay, we're lifting the rib cage up off the pelvis. Well done, press off your front heel, lifting the hip, taking the ball above your head as we run the hand down the side of the body, looking above your head. That's it, opening through the chest. This helps pull your body back into good alignment. Also gives you awareness of where you are. The ball is above the head. Inhale, press into that front heel and come on up. Well done, okay? Turning the heels out, shoulders back and down tailbone under. Let's come on down and challenge yourself into this warrior squat. The knees are over the toes, outward, the belly is in, the tailbone pointing downwards. Sit, squeeze into the ball, pull the shoulders back, that's the way. Now press and stretch out through the back. Tailbone under, well done. Okay, let's come into a narrow stance. Your feet are hip width apart, taking your leg back. Just make sure that the hips are nice and straight. The heel is on the floor. Now, if you like, you can lift the heel off the floor. Inhale, 
exhale, extending the palms upward, come on down. Just make sure that your knee stays behind your toe and we lift the ribcage up off the pelvis. This is a strength movement. The chin is tucked in and the palms are facing into each other. Well done. That's it. Excellent. We can take that to the other side again. Check hip width apart. Take that leg back. Check the knee alignment. Inhale. Exhale. Palms up. Lifting the rib cage up off the pelvis. Belly in tight. Squeezing through the buttocks and extending upward, well done. Challenge yourself to be strong in this position. Building strength. Inhale, exhale, well done. Okay, bring your feet hip width apart, turning the toes out, it activates the glutes. Shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in. Come on down, and again, we're gonna stretch out, round the back out, pelvis under. Nice. This way, we're gonna take the ball, inhale, exhale, stretch it up and over. Full range of movement for the shoulders. Awesome, take that to the other side, take it outward. Please make sure that your belly's in nice and tight and we're squeezing through the glutes. Well done. Let's take the ball into your right hand. We're gonna get a little bit of shoulder mobility here. Up close to the ear and back. As we age, you may find that you can't come close to the ear. Be aware as we come forward and around. Full shoulder mobility. Take it now into your left hand and stretch it round. Well done. Keep that belly in nice and tight and your glutes squeezed. Last one, well done. Good job. Bring it in and again, round out the back. It's warming the spine. Inhale, push the tailbone back. Exhale. Do that twice more. Really feel the warmth between the shoulder blades and stretch. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Really round the back out. We're going to go to a short break right now. I want you to continue with that movement if you need to. When we come back, we're going to be doing some walk, Pilates work on the floor. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. The last part of the segment, we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the floor. We're going to work with a, uh, for a bit of spinal mobility. So we're going to begin now on a mat. If you have one, if you don't, that's fine. Um, you can use a cushion under the knees just to give them some support. So I want you to turn around, have your knees underneath your hips and shoulders back and down, and then simply bring your body weight forward. Check that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and that the knees are directly under the hips. So we're gonna begin by lengthening the neck, pulling the shoulders down and away from your ears, drawing the belly in and then relaxing it. I want you to draw the belly upward and inward and then relax it. Lengthening the spine, lengthening down the back of the neck, drawing the belly in nice and tight and then relaxing. So we're lifting it up and then letting it fall. We're gonna strengthen this area through the core muscles. Now, as we take a deep breath in, I want you to tuck your chin in and round the back upward. As we exhale, come back to a neutral spine. So the chin is tucked in and lengthen. Again, draw the belly upward and inward, pressing away from your hands and then releasing. That's it, squeezing the belly upward, inward, stretch away from your hands, stretching really arch through the lower back, of the upper back, and then release. 
Let's do that again. Inhale, stretching up all the way. Exhale and release. I want you to relax the spine and we're going to wag the tail. This exercise as we take swing the pelvis from side to side is fantastic if you do have lower back issues. If you have a day where you've got a sore back, just take it to here and just wag the tail from side to side, drawing the belly in nice and tight, wagging from side to side. Again, bring the ball back between the knees. Now I want you to stretch up, rolling the spine upward, exhaling and releasing. And again, rolling the spine upward, chin tucked in, exhale and release. This is fantastic for an upper shoulder stretch. Right up through the back and release. And again, rolling the spine upward, stretch it to the top and release. Now I want you to take your hands back out underneath your shoulders, flatten through the back, tucking the chin in, pulling the shoulders down and away from the ears. Now draw the belly in and I want you to slowly, slowly squeeze through the buttocks and extend one leg back straight. Now pointing the toes towards the floor. I want you to un look underneath now and check that your hips are even. Toe pointing to the floor and engaging the abdominals, squeezing through the buttocks. Just holding that foot there, tucking the chin in, pressing away from your hands evenly. Inhale, exhale, bring that knee back underneath your hips for support. Well done. Okay, we're gonna try that on the other side now. First of all, draw the belly in towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears, tuck the chin in, squeeze through the glutes, and extend one leg back straight. Point the toe towards the floor, look underneath to make sure your hips are square, Point the toe towards the floor, lengthen the spine, draw the belly in, squeeze nice and tight. That's the way, well done. Bring that knee back underneath the hip and relax. Inhale, stretch it all the way to the top and release. Again, this is warming for the spine, working on your deep core muscles. Okay, take a deep breath in. I want you to squeeze through the buttocks, draw the belly button in nice and tight, and bring your right hand out. Take it to the side, square the shoulders back and down, lifting that arm, draw the belly in nice and tight, pressing away from the other arm. Squeeze through the buttocks, suck the belly right up and in. Inhale, exhale, release and take it back down. Again, squaring the shoulders up, pull them away from the ears, draw your belly in, inhale, exhale and take the other arm out to the side. Pull the shoulders back and down, press away from the arms, squeeze through the buttocks. If you're getting a bit shaky, that's okay. It just means we're activating those muscles. Come on back down to centre. Again, inhale, press upward. Exhale, lengthen and release. If you want a little bit more, you can push the buttocks backs as well. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale and release. We're gonna try that little sequence again. Inhale, draw the belly in. Square the hips off and press the leg backwards, pushing away from your hands evenly. Point the toe towards the floor. Lengthen the neck, tighten through the buttocks, suck your belly in. A little glance underneath to see if your hips are square. Shoulders are square, release and come on back down. And again, let's try that on the other side. Draw your belly in, nice and tight. Squeeze through the buttocks. Keep those hips square as you push the other leg back, pointing the toe downward. This is really good for your balance. Pushing away from your arms, draw the belly in nice and tight, lengthen through the neck. Keep that chin tucked in, extending back. Beautiful, well done. 
Bring the knees back together and come on up. That's it, bring the shoulders back and down. I want you to bring the shoulders back, tailbone under, bring the hands down by your side. And I want you to squeeze through the knees, the balls between the knees. The shoulders are back and down. So I want you to draw up through the pelvic floor area, bracing the core, shoulders are back and down, lifting the chest, tucking the chin in and squeezing and drawing upward. Sit, squeeze and release. And again, squeeze and release. That was a great exercise for strengthening the pelvic floor area. But that's all we've got time for today. Thank you for watching Move It or Lose It. And we look forward to seeing you on another show again soon.